Hey guys, Cat72, hope everyone's doing well. Um, it's been a little while since I've done a video and uh, sorry about that. Uh, again, we're gonna have a, another YouTube video on a DIY for tinting the uh, headlights on my Kia 2013. And I'm sorry about the background noise, guys. Um, we got a nice, slightly little breeze if you can see the trees behind me but uh, in all honesty it's pretty hot here in texas as usual and that's kind of why the videos have shortened up a bit it's just extremely hot to be doing videos out here uh, but it's kind of mid-morning uh, i'm gonna go ahead and try to knock this out for you guys um, again it's going to be pertaining to the uh, my 2013 kia uh, this is something i've been wanting to do i'm going to flip the camera around now so we can get further into what i'm talking about Okay guys, uh, try to make this quick as possible. So the headlights here are, are going to be what I'm tinting. Let me go over the materials with you. Um, basically, it's just going to be the tint. I'll put the link in the description as usual for these supplies. Uh, this is made by Vivid. I don't know if you can see that right there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stay with it or not because I got to see how it's going to turn out. I've got the honeycomb effect on these and I'm not sure if I'm really going to like it. It's just a trial. An error video for tinting your front headlights I'm gonna see if I like it I'll stay with them if I don't I'm not gonna I'll peel them off and not deal with it uh, you're gonna need like a little uh, kit I got this one from uh, Amazon again I'll put the link in the description it's called go make but basically it's got everything you need let me open it up for you real quick it's gonna have your blades your spreaders with felt so it doesn't scratch you know if you're doing vinyl or if you're doing for in this case this kind of vinyl for the lenses uh, headlights and whatnot you got your blade uh, comes with another straight cut blade that's basically just straight cut um, I guess this is to get around a little little edging tool to get around edges and whatnot you know something like this something to that effect and, uh, and, a, and another spreader not bad um, paper towels and a Microsoft cloth and the reason why you're gonna need this is because as you can see there I got a little bit of water with a little bit of soap you're gonna want to wash the lenses and then you're gonna want to dry them off completely and then we can get started with the um, actual uh, vinyl wrapping and hopefully this comes out the way I'm hoping. If not, like I said, if I don't like it, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do away with it and leave them as is. And the reason why I'm doing it is because on my other video, I used a um, headlight replenishing kit. And as you can see, it's done a damn good job. It's still held up very well. But I'm sure by the end of the year, these are probably going to start fading again. Let's hope not. But that's probably, that's usually the case because this is the second time I've done this. And over time they yellow and they just look faded and supposedly what I'm gonna use the vinyl wrap for is to prevent that from happening so again we'll see how it works out um, on another note I might do the rear the rear lights as well I'm not quite I'm not quite sure on that yet because one they're pretty big I don't know if I got enough vinyl to do all four um, as if y'all have a Kia you'll realize that the uh, the back lights and the front headlights uh, they're pretty big so they're gonna take up quite a bit of vinyl but okay guys let me go ahead and get this started before it starts getting too freaking hot out here where's the Sun at yeah it won't take long so anyway lately uh, it's been about a hundred and over here in San Antonio Texas so it's a lot of heat guys Anyway, let's get this video started. Hope you enjoy and let's hope for the best. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, guys, I've already cleaned and dried up the uh, headlights. I just wanted to show you this instruction uh, manual comes inside of the kit or the actual vinyl wrap. And it kind of tells you, you know, the process. Now you see where it says heat gun. I don't really think I'm gonna need one, but uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab it just in case, in case I do need it and bring it out here because it's pretty hot right now. Uh, I would think that that uh, vinyl wrap's gonna be just fine because it's pretty freaking hot. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and grab that and get it already here in case I do need it. I don't have to stop the video again and then we'll just continue with time lapse. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, let me show you what it looks like real quick. Hang on. So this is what I meant by the honeycomb uh, effect. I'm not sure how that's gonna look once it's once you got the backing off, how clear it's gonna look. Uh, I did get the one that says that it doesn't uh, hold back too much light because I don't want I don't like to have too dark of a, of a of a vinyl on my lenses. I do like for the lights to emit quite a bit. Um, so I'm very I'm real curious to see how this is gonna look at nighttime, and then. Oh, come on. I'm trying to show you what this is going to look like. There we go. So that's that's kind of what you're going to get, that honeycomb effect right there. Anyway, let's see how it looks, guys. Let me get this started. All right. Okay, guys, depending how you, how you want to cut the shape of your lens or your headlights, mine kind of resembles this shape right here. And the reason why I cut it that way is there's not a whole lot of excess. So basically it would look like this. And the reason for that is that I don't have a lot of uh, excess material to play with. So now at this point, we'll go ahead and get started on laying it on. This is a dry tack. You don't have to wet it. That's how it goes on. And then I did bring the heat gun and I attached it in case I do need it. And, um, all right, guys, let's see how this turns out. Hey guys, sorry about that. And I was afraid of that happening. Uh, I'm actually recording with my iPhone um, and it turns out that uh, the heat was just too much. So the iPhone overheated and it stopped recording. So this is the end result. Came out pretty good. I guess I like it so far, but I'm gonna wait till it's totally complete. I'm gonna go ahead and do this bottom lens and then the other side. I'll go ahead and try to do time lapse, guys, but uh, more than likely the phone's gonna overheat again and shut down. So what I'll probably do at this point is just show you once it's all complete. Um, I do have cameras, but I don't know if they're gonna suffer the same effect because it is it is hot out here and I don't, I don't know if they're gonna shut down on me as well. So let me go ahead and continue on. Um, once I'm done, we'll go over everything and then, uh, yeah, I'll decide whether or not I want to stay with the, with the, uh, vinyl wrap against the, uh, the lens, over the lenses or the, the headlights. I keep calling them lenses, the headlights. All right, guys, again, I do apologize, but, uh, I, it was in the back of my mind that the iPhone was probably going to overheat. So, all right, I'm going to keep on going. Okay, guys. Woo. Uh, the sun kind of went down. It's behind those clouds. So I went ahead and powered on the iPhone again just to show you where we're at. So there's the first one. Came out better than what I expected. And I did the bottom lens, or the headlight, and then here's the passenger. And now I just got the bottom left uh, passenger side. Once that's done, I think it's gonna be a done deal, guys. Looks pretty good, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I did not have enough to do the back lights or the back uh, rear lights. So I'm probably going to have to order another uh, another kit and then probably do a video on that. 
and show you guys how that turns out. But so far, so good. Pretty happy with it. Uh, let me finish it off so we can see the final product. All right, guys. All right, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, I've completed it. Now, I know it's daylight, so it might not do it any justice, but this specific vinyl was uh, specifically made to uh, emit as much light as possible without affecting the visibility uh, uh, with the vinyl being over the headlights. So I have it on now, and uh, I'll just show you what it looks like real quick. Um, other than that, guys, um, I'll go ahead and do the back um, tail lights. Some of you have also asked what the uh, car's been holding up like since I painted it, uh, the finish anyway. Let me show you real quick. Let me turn this ca camera around, hold on. All right, so let, first let me start showing you what the lights look like. There you go. Again, it's not doing it any justice because it's not nighttime, but trust me, it's almost as if I don't, I'm not gonna have any coverage or uh, vinyl on the lenses. And that's what they look like. Unfortunately, um, some of the paint chipped off with the blade when I was cutting it, so that's no problem. Y'all know that I did that with Rust-Oleum. I can fix that, no issue. And there's the driver's side. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and do the back as well, but let me show you the paint. The paint's been holding up just fine, guys, as you can see. Um, and you can see I haven't even washed it. It's kind of dirty. Uh, but you can see the clouds. You can see my 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 um, my hand perfectly clear. Um, I'm really happy with the paint job that I did on it. It's held up really really well. And again, like I said, with this hundred degree weather, it hasn't chipped or faded. It's it's just in good condition. So overall, it's an excellent paint. I highly recommend it. If you guys are not familiar with what I'm talking about, just search my other videos where I did a speed coat custom paint job on this car and that color is called natto gray i just wanted to give you guys a walk around because you've been asking what does it look like how's it held up this kind of gives you an idea all right guys but uh the only the other thing i'm going to do is i bought a vinyl uh to do a custom stripe on the center i'm not too happy with this one i think i mentioned it oh no i didn't do a video on this that's right uh, I meant to, but I didn't. Uh, I'm going to do away with this stripe, and the stripe that I am going to add is actually going to have these this honeycomb effect, so I think that's going to make it look good. Well, guys, uh, that's it for today. Um, again, I apologize about the video cutting out. It was extremely hot, and I think, the uh, of course, the iPhone overheated. They're, they have a tendency to do that. So, um, all right. This is Cast 72, guys. Peace out.